What is going on everyone? Shio775 here and I'm bringing you another great episode of the Saints Row the Third Let's Play. Now in the last episode we ended up starting off with the uh, with the new Genki um, side DLC activity things or something. But yeah, we were doing that and uh, I was seeing on the map that it popped up an actual side activity with the DLC. And I thought, you know what, let's go and do one of those, kind of start off the episode and then move on to the, another one of the DLC missions. So. Without further ado, let's go and get this one started up and uh, see how this one goes for us. Greetings, Genki Ball fans. The final match in Angry Tigers Apocalypse Genki is about to begin. Here we go. I'm hoping for more mascots being ripped apart by man eating sharks. So, I, apparently, I don't have any, any of my weapons right now. So, I've got a. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Uh, wait until this thing goes down a bit. Alright, or well, never mind. So now, there we go. Okay, so now, here we go. Okay, so, let's see here. Ah, oh, fuck, come on. Sharks and mascots are truly star-crossed lovers. But no less entertaining for the fans. Right you are there, Bobby. Okay, so I thought I was actually going to be able to shoot those, but apparently, you know, they're unethical ones, so I can't be shooting them. Alright, but there's that, and uh, there's that, and I get some health right here, and yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. I just had to go and get her right when they were fucking having it on. So let's go and do this. Let's do this, and okay. Continue on. Okay, and let's see here. Where else? Where else? Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, so now we got this guy, that one. Okay, so it's pretty much, you know, still the same old, uh, you know, Genki things. Oh shit, that was the first one? Okay, there we go. Okay, alright, so now we're continuing on over here. Okay, so let's see here. Wait, which direction am I supposed to be going? Because I think I'm going like in a circle now. I know I'm not going in the right direction, probably. So let's see here. Okay, continue on. Whoop, almost got hit by the fire on there. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, there's the bridge. Okay, I didn't even notice there was a bridge. Okay, so money shot. Up, oh, and here comes a brute. Oh, shit. There's that. Oh, shit. There's that. Okay. Uh, okay, and let's just continue on through here. Okay, so uh, probably should get the sniper out of the way. Oh shit, there you go. Where's the sniper? Alright, let's just keep going and hitting him. Alright, I'm, I'm not really going to be able to get up there, so there we go. Okay, and now... They're gonna be sending out another freaking. Uh, or uh, not, uh, the brutes. There we go. I, I couldn't remember the name for the for the uh, brutes. But yeah, uh, let's go continue on. Take out these guys. Take that guy. Okay, there's another sniper. Oh shit! Now there's two of them. Okay, so now. Okay, is there? No, I don't. Oh, actually, I got these. So these might end up being a bit better. Oh, let's get the mini shots here. Alright, so let's go and do that. And just take out this guy. And take out him. And take out him. Alright. So, uh, let's see, they left me a present over there. I might as well take that money shot right there. And let's see here, where do I go now for the next one? Let's see here. Oh shit, I didn't even notice it. Okay, and let's just keep going, and hey, we're here. Alright. <laughs> so I know it wasn't ex the most exciting uh, commentary right there, but there's a lot that goes on, and there's a lot that the commentary the commentators say, so kind of goes over mine. But uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad of one. It actually gave me quite a bit of a challenge. I did like how they... Oh, hey, and we got the Angry Tiger as a homie. Nice. But I did like that, um, you know, they didn't release the brutes, like, right in front of me, like they tend to do, and, like, they end up, like, surrounding me. They had them up, just up top, kind of, you know, give them more, uh, firing, or, like, more of a challenge, basically. 
But uh, yeah, let's go and do, 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 pop up this. All right, and then we're going to go back to Tammy. So let's go and get that phone call real quick. So now we're going to start up on the uh, next uh, batch of the uh, Genki, like Genki Bowl games and whatnot. I believe in this one I'm just like in a giant yarn ball and I just like roam around destroying a bunch of stuff. But I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure. Like I'm uh, like 90% sure that's what it is. But once we can get over there, we'll go and do that. But we still got a, quite a ways to go. So I'll see you guys when uh, we get there. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Welcome Genki Ball 7 fans to the latest and greatest contest of guts, gore, and glory. Courtesy of that crazy cat man, Professor Genki. That's right, Zach. And today's show brings with it a very special surprise. Professor Genki's very own Genki girl, Sexy Kid, has designed a brand new game for our contestant to play. And what a game it is. Here to tell us more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy. Thank you, Zach. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city and cause as much damage and mayhem as they can before time runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like Sexy Kitten definitely put her paw print on this show. <laughs> and that's not all, Bobby. The ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that, and the contestant will score big. A mouse and a ball of yarn, huh? Is something the matter? No. It just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. You really don't, Zach. We never did find that mouse. All right. So, pretty much I was right. This is one of those really unique ones. But uh, basically, it's just like another mayhem activity, except that uh, you're in a yarn ball. And, yeah, I mean, not much else to it. Um, still pretty fun to go around this yarn ball and you know, destroy a bunch of stuff. And sometimes it's a bit more uh, irritating. But, you know, it helps out a bit to go and uh, you know, at least make sure you're using your shockwaves. Alright, so now let's keep going. And... And okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, come on, go, 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 go. Come on, go. So it's funny, that's how they go and uh, bring up our driving habits, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, that's actually it. Huh. Alright, so that finishes up that one, at least. So nothing too difficult, just a lot of little commentary here and there from them. But... <laughs> that one's actually a nice twist on the uh, whole mayhem thing. I actually really do enjoy this one. Uh, when I first did my whole kind of playthrough on this, just kind of seeing all the uh, all the DLCs and whatnot, this one was actually one of my favorites that I did. And I kind of saw myself um, often doing this one over and over again. Oh, hey, there's the Verbinator. <laughs> so we're going to have a new little uh, vehicle we can go and you know, test around. Well, let's see here. Now, uh, let's see, we got some more upgrades we can go and do, apparently. Um, I really don't really know, uh, but we do have some more money. Always useful to go and do more upgrades, or just buy more shit. Uh, but let's see here, anything else around this area? Well, there's another one of the uh, sexy kitten yarngasms. So, I mean, we could do one of those, or we can start up another mission. Um, but you know what, since... Yeah, I'll probably go and, uh, let's see, I always do that, I keep getting confused on which button it is to run, and I always end up throwing a grenade instead, but, uh, 
Oh shit, I did not want to do that, but um, actually, yeah. you know what? let me do this real quick. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I uh, <laughs> meant to go to this screen and it popped up that other screen, and I accidentally selected that instead. But yeah, we'll go and uh, do this other side uh, instance real quick, and then I'll end the episode off there. So I'll cut it back in uh, when I go over there, I guess. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, Genki fans. It's time to watch as the leader of the Saints tears up the town once again for fun and profit. Fun is right, Zach. This giant ball of death yard seems to be the perfect way to cruise around the city of Steel. But only in sexy Genki orgasm can you find such a mode of transportation. Outside of Genki Bowl 7, what's your favorite way to get around, Bobby? Well, that's easy. A helicopter. You aren't afraid of heights, I take it. If I have to choose between getting mutilated by the drivers in this city or a carefree flight with a view, I think the choice is obvious. But what if there's some sort of uh, malfunction that causes the chopper to go down? Parachutes are a wonderful invention, Zach. And if the chute fails? Try all you want, Zach. I'm still needing you to work in the morning. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw you putting sugar in my gas tank last night. Sure. Well, that was an interesting commentary by them, but hey, let's go and get back onto this. I still haven't seen the mouse. I don't, I don't really know where, where he's located. But I know if I if I get the mouse, they will give me a huge boost. So I need to figure out where, where exactly the Oh, there he is. There we go. That was an... <laughs> speaking of the mouse, he just popped up. Oh, uh, can I get off of this? Thank you. All right. Jeez, that's like the one thing though is like I'll notice that I do end up getting stuck around a lot of those little um, like the exit signs and whatnot because I don't know what it is exactly but it just managed to go and uh, <laughs> just go and pop them up a lot. But let's go and keep going over here, keep taking these ones down. Oh, and this one's just gonna go easy for us after after getting that bonus. We're good, but now I'm getting stuck. And let's see here, do that, and do that. Okay, keep going. Okay, come on, really, really, go, go, go. There you go. All right, come on. Here we are. Alright, sweet. That'll work. And okay, so I just gotta wait for my combo to go down and then we're gonna finish it up. And there it is. Alright. So, nothing too difficult on that one. Like I said, I do enjoy these ones a lot more than, you know, some of the other uh, Genki missions. But, you know, if there's another one that pops up, I'll be sure to go and get it done on another episode. But, like I said, gonna go and end it off here. Hey, we got Sexy Kitten as one of our homies now. And, um, yeah. Oh, and we got the Sexy Kitten mask. I have to be sporting that one later. And we got the Sexy Kitten rides, which are pretty much just reskins of all the other rides that we tend to get. And, oh, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be fun. So I can actually go and ride in the giant yarn ball around the city. Uh, while I may not be racking up, you know, in, you know, damages and whatnot, like well, price damages, anyways, I'll still be dealing some damage. So you might see that in another episode. But that is going to be cutting it off for this one. So thank you guys once again for you know watching the video. Thank you guys for the continued support, and hope you enjoyed this episode. But until the next one, guys, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, peace.